Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about how we can implement nested layouts in Next.js. Um, I couldn't find any material on it on the official site, so but I did find a solution after searching for quite a while, so I'm going to share that solution with you guys today. All right, so, so far you can see I have a, a project open here and the way I bootstrapped it is basically I ran npx create next app and that's all. And now I'm here and now I can call yarn dev to open the dev server. And if I open Chrome, it's gonna look like this. All right. Now to create a layout in next, what you need to do is you need in your pages folder add a underscore app JS or app TS file. If you're using TypeScript and then in here you need to add a function called, let's just call it my, actually it's easier if we go to the documentation page here for next and just copy it. That's just what I did. So if you go here, we can just copy the stuff, copy it in here, and then we have basically the component that's wrapping our entire app here. All right, so if I want to add a layout, so the component is whatever is the route loaded in the pages folder. So if I wrap this in a div, I can add something, a layout basically. I can add something here that's going to repeat on every page. And that could be a, a nav bar. So currently I have a UI framework loaded in called charge react here I can grab a nav bar and put it here and here I can add a theme it's gonna add primary theme and I can add a type a bit dark in here just I just want to have something visual here so you guys can see it and then I'm gonna add a component called now our brand i'm just gonna put demo here all right now if i go to chrome now if i go back to my app here and reload this page i should have an hour bar but it's not here so hold on all right so i just um, had to restart the server now i get demo up here all right we don't have any styles yet but if we import the style sheet is required for this library. We should indeed see an app bar here, okay? Cool, now if I create another page here, so if I pick create a, let's create a folder, let's call it post, and inside here I'm just gonna put an index.js file. If I in here add something, let's just add h1 here called post, we go back to our index file and create a link to slash post. And I need to remember to import a link from next link. Now if I open Chrome up and I press go to post, I'm on the post page and I have the header here. Okay. This is a very standard lay this is a very standard layout. And next JS, go to app JS, add in whatever you want to render together with your page component. And uh, yeah, that's 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 cool, that's working. But now I want let's say I want a nested layout in here inside my post page. So in here, let's say I have let's say I have some tabs, tab one and tab two. All right. Now I want these three things to persist. Um, in case I do a, a route. 
So if I go to post uh, slash post slash tab one or post slash tab two, I want to keep this layout. I don't want it to re-render or I don't want to duplicate markup. How do I do that? Well, first of all, we need to go to app.js actually first. And in here, I need to create a int empty layout. So empty layout is basically just a React component. And here, in here I just render a fragment where I just render out children. All right. Now, this is where the magic happens. So inside here, I'm going to do a check. Actually, I'm just going to do a smart check like this. So I'm going to define a variable. I'm going to call it layout. And basically, I'm going to look at the component that I get in. So the page component that I get in here, I'm going to check if there's a layout, if there's a static layout property on here. And if so, I'm going to assign it to layout. If not, I'm going to default to the empty layout. All right. Now, what we can do is we can grab this layout and wrap it in here. Now, if you go back to Chrome, that's not going to change anything right now because we didn't actually define component or a dot layout that static property anywhere. Okay, so if I go back to my index.js here inside my post folder uh, or post route here, I can add a uh, new file here. I'm just going to call it actually I should actually define it somewhere else, not in the pages folder. Um, so I'm just going to make a new folder here called layouts and I'm going to add in the post layout here. Uh, React functional component. Yes. So here I'm basically going to add the layout I want to use. And the one I want to use is this one. I think. Yeah. Let's take that one, put it in here. That's looking cool. Maybe we can change that to uppercase. Now, if you go back to index, um, I can add just an H1 here, put index. Okay. Now, what I can do now is on my index here, I can do index.layout. And then I can point at my post layout. Okay. Now let's jump back to Chrome for a second here. So, so far, nothing changed too much here. Oh, actually, I'm just getting the post layout. I'm not getting this index, right? That's because in your know, post layout, we need to remember to expose children and then to put it now markdown markup now we get index okay so now we have this post layout and now we can just create new nested uh, routes in here so i can do post one dot js and uh, i can just make a post one here it's, it's gonna be just an h1 for now just post one now for post one, I can do the same where I add the layout and I'm going to point it at post layout. Okay. So if we close all of these actually, and then open up our index again, we can make a link here, link href to slash post slash post one. This is not too pretty, but this is just to showcase the nested layout. Go to post one. And then remember to import a link from next link. Cool beans, let's jump back to Chrome. So in here, we have our index post. Now, if I click to post one, I am on the post one page. And uh, notice that 
I still have this upper bit, which is my post uh, layout. So if we go into layout here, you can see I have this, this part. So this part is staying there. It's not re-rendering and I'm reusing this layout for every post in here. Okay. Now this was kind of a bad example. But uh, I hope you guys get the idea of how we can create this nested layout. All right, I hope this video was useful. I'm going to link some um, resources in the video description of where I found this method. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.